Welcome to the first day of truth. Up until this point, they've been feeding you patriotic, watered-down, white American history book bullshit. Not anymore. You're all grown up. You're sophomores now. Congratulations. Time to face the many harsh realities of our past. Time to unlearn what you've learned. Welcome to American history for the first time. My name is Cap. You a freshman? You a freshman? Freshman? You a freshman? Me? No, 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 I'm not a freshman, I'm a, I'm the janitor. Two days, freshman. You looked that young last year, dude? You did. I can't wait for two days. See you Friday, freshman. All these years, and now it's only two days away. Yes. Can't hit me this year, douche. You don't have to sleep at my house this year, Sam. I've been getting it since grade school from this idiot. It's freshman Friday, homo. I remember at seventh grade, this big goo bag threw an egg at me from across the street. It was like such a page, dude. That shit hit me. It would've hurt. I remember that guy, he was crazy. Luckily, that egg missed by 20 feet. You got it worse than junior high than I got it last year. Not anymore, dudes! Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. I want to leave you out. Thank you. Can we still get your mom's car on Friday? I think so. She's been driving longer than me. She's been driving that car since she was like 12, man. <laughs> Another couple of years and finally get your license. What's a license? Hey, is that your dad, Jeremy? Yeah. Your dad's the janitor? Yeah. That sucks, dude. You got to hear it at the brokerage house. This place pretty good, he said. Your dad rules. Hey, guys. Hey, Jeremy. First day back, huh? Yeah. It's pretty soon, Mr. Marquis. I can see the school is going to be extra clean this year. Oh, I don't know, Eddie. I'm not that good. Hey, guys, take it easy on the freshman Friday, will ya? I'll be up all night scraping eggs and whipped cream off the lockers. Don't worry, Mr. McKee. I don't miss. Oh, I'm so sorry. What do you guys got next? A math with Miss Hutz. Same here. That's what I Nice. She's rough. Oh, God. When I was in 10th grade, she broke a chair over my head. Lionel loves the math teacher. What do you got next, Blank? Economics. Yeah, but what are you going to? Freshman English. Every year, this idiot goes in the wrong classroom on the first day of school just because he knows he can get away with it. That's funny, dude. Jiggle Abbotts? Here. Tiffany Behrens? Present. Mary Berry? Um, it's Beret, ma'am. Beret, okay. Thomas Chatham? Here. I'm here, ma'am. Thomas Chatham. I'm, I'm Thomas Chatham. Yeah, nice try, kid. Thomas Chatham, ma'am. Messing with the teacher on the first day of school? Show some respect, Larry. I'm Thomas Chatham. I'm sorry, ma'am. I apologize for his obvious poor judgment. Lago. Here. 
Ulick. Here. Zarinsky. Here. All right. We have a lot to cover this year and plenty of time to get to know one another. Let's just get started. Please open your textbooks to chapter one. We'll begin with problem nine. Five minus six. Is there a problem? Oh, oh, no, no, ma'am. No. Lionel loves math, ma'am. Well, then I'm sure he wouldn't mind walking us through the next few problems. Would you? Mr. Brubaker? To be the freshman Friday? It's bullcrap. That's what you get for being smart, Lenny. Brubaker, we're in junior high. We're not gonna mess with you. It's the ninth graders in the Yeah, right. This is so bogus. Why don't this have to class here? It's plenty of room. You're gonna make me walk over there? It's your brother and sister will protect you. I'm so freaking dead. Girls know we love that shit. It's so sweet. Oh. Yeah. Hey, Lion, do you think girls know we look down their shirts when they bend over and they sluice? I don't know. They don't know. How old is your brother again, Sam? 20. Man, I hope I'm 20 when I'm a senior. <laughs> you're on your way. He's a smart guy, though, right? You don't know that story? When he was little, he was in a coma for two years. No way. Yeah, dude. No one knows why. Most people think he just wanted to sleep. A diarrhea in the house? He's gonna start seeing Francine. Really? He says he wants to date every Asian girl in 10th grade. No sophomore girls ever go out with sophomore guys. It's always seniors. That's because you dudes don't put out. It's because you can't get a girl in your own grade, you faggot. Add them off. Yeah. Except for honey. Oh. She said anytime, blank. Sawi. Lionel Brubaker. Your sister's so hot, dude. Shut up, man. What happened to you? I know. I look like a nerd, but I'm not smart. What good am I? You're cute. Thanks, Eddie. No one likes the kids in their own grade. It's always some other grade, some other school. That's why I like hanging out with you guys. You better not fucking hit me on Friday. How's hot? I can't even get one day with a math teacher likes me. She caught this kid smoking once. She picked him up, hung him on a stop sign. And I know where she lives. This big house all by herself. She's a lonely woman. Maybe you should stop in for a visit, Eddie. You know what you should do? You should sneak into her house while she's home and take a shit in her toilet. You mean like right on her table? No. It's not funny. That's gross. Shit right in her toilet where it belongs. She'll come in there afterwards and be so confused. And you'll always know that about her. No matter how authoritative she seems, she had a moment because of you that scared and confused the hell out of her. That'd be funny. Hi, I'm 7th grader. Not a freshman. 7th grade, yep. Just gotta go to my class. Hey, Lionel. Isn't that your brother? Yeah, he's got you to class over here once a week. On Fridays? Oh, he's dead. He knows. Yo, freshman! Well, here we are. Freshman Friday. Sophomore's most looked forward to day, when you can finally do unto others what's been done to you. Since this is supposed to be a history class, can anyone tell me when this yearly ritual of Freshman Friday began? In the Bible? 
God the sophomore wreaking havoc on the freshmen of mankind. You know, well, some would argue. I don't know where it started either. It's a common problem with us. We have this tradition that persists year after year, and no one knows why. Everyone participates, but no one's bothering to find out when and where it came from. It's as if it was simply handed down by God, as if it's always been here. <laughs> See, this is where history class has failed us. History is right now. And we can make of it whatever we choose, and that's the way it's always been. And what becomes history, book history, often took those who lived it by surprise. But the books don't make that clear, which is why they're garbage. Someone makes a decision, chooses to act in a certain way, and it becomes history. <laughs> Simple. Somehow we've forgotten that over the years. In this class, we won't be memorizing dates or who won some battle in some war, because who gives a shit? Now, if you want to know those things, fine, go. Find out on your own. You don't need me for that. This is about discovering meaning. It's, it's, somehow, we have come to imagine that learning history is memorizing some great story with characters like George Washington and Abraham Lincoln, who always did the right thing, these legendary, flawless men. <laughs> this is all bullshit. Learning history is supposed to help us with our lives now. Or what's the point? Remember, these people were just like us. <laughs> they could have made the wrong decision. <laughs> they could have made better decisions. The whole thing could be completely different because these people, these patriotic icons, they were human beings. They were people. People who farted, just like you and me. <laughs> Nothing is more inspiring than a beautiful woman. Oh my God. She's staring at me. She's looking at me. Hey, honey. Hey. She's watching the surf, Bob. No, man. She's looking at me. Honey Brubaker. Oh. It's our last chance. She graduates this year. I don't think it's gonna happen again, Bob. It was like a dream. What you guys talking about? Oh, there's no way that's gonna happen again because it never happened in the first place. What are you talking about? I'm not gonna lie about the greatest moment ever. The night I saw Honey Brubaker sleepwalk through her living room. What a liar. Whatever we do, we can't let Lenny know. We'll never let us sleep over. It's gonna have to be warm outside, or she'll sleep in a sweatshirt or something. Yeah. But when it is warm outside, she doesn't sleep in anything but her beautiful self. Stop it, Bob. I have to poop. It's gonna happen, and we're gonna be inside with her. I can feel it. Oh! 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 Seven great assholes!
my house, Lionel? Where are you going? My mom's making walk Lenny and his friends home. Oh, shit. I know. Good luck. Dude, so big, the history books won't even have to lie about us. Where are we going? Let's head over to Chomsky Street. There's always a mess of kids walking home there. Make a mess of them. I really don't care. You get under there. You do what you can. You I know sure about the Sam's house. That's what he got hit. Class. Two out of San Dimas is like Bill and Ted. I was running so fast, I was seeing red. There were mobs of children up and down the street. Cars were all speeding to beat the heat. You guys ready? Yeah. It's on, dude. Suddenly, out of the blue, they had me surrounded. I didn't know what to do. I was trapped. They got okay. me there. Oh my god. 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 Did you see them all? There's so many of them. They think they're home free. Go get them, Sammy. Sucks, dude. Bullshit. They made it. Couple close calls, man. Got your boys now. No, they got that in school. In class. What's up, strummers? Poor Sam. What happened? Got hit. Oh shit. I met you before. What's your name again? Jeff. Uh, that wasn't it. It was like Todd or something. No, it's always with Jeff. No, dude, give me a second, it'll come to me. Hey, Sam. Sam, you almost got me killed today. What the fuck is this kid's name? So stupid. Why do people do this? I mean, I'm not gonna do this when I'm a sophomore. Yeah, nice try, Bob. You'll do it. No, I won't. Somebody's gotta resist. When did this stupid thing even start anyway? In the Bible? <sighs> what, I washed him. Not with soap. You told dude. me to wash them. Your dad's hating it right now. Yeah, that sucks. This janitor. Oh, that stinks. Hey, Elroy. Mom still laying your clothes out for you in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> you kids are set. I've seen some of the girls at Guthrie. You're so set. Eh, they're okay. You're nuts, Bob. They're all flat. Come on. You're not ready for boobies yet. Besides, we can't all be good looking. We wouldn't get any work done. If everyone was good looking, we'd just have sex all day long. Seriously, we wouldn't be productive. Thank God for the ugly people. Keeps the economy stable. You kids are fucking sophomores, holy shit. Are you ready for the craziest year of your life? Cause you better be. Hey Blink, when do we get to go to a party? Ah, you boys wanna go to a party, huh? I can't. Are you ready for that? I'm ready.
freshman. No, I was a sophomore. Boys are looking a little peaky. Where's Willie? Where's my hot dog? Who the fuck took my hot dog? I've never seen anybody eat a hot dog like that kid. Those hot dogs. You guys missed the fight. Uh, just kidding. You know, if I had a party, I'd invite all these same people. I really would. I like them all. What about that guy? I would also invite Thomas Chafin. I think I'm gonna get myself a hot dog. Shoot him by cat, dude. You take my fucking hot dog? This guy fucking took my hot dog! Yo, man, what's up? He is a drunken idiot, Blank. The fucking guy took my hot dog! Dude, you ate it. You're still chewing it. I'm gonna be watching you, hot dog. The fucking guy took my hot dog. Willie was starting shit outside. Nah. No, I was drunk and idiot was stumbling all over himself. That's what being drunk does to you. It makes you stumble. I can't manage my drinks either, man. It's not really a drinking problem, though. It's more of a math problem. I can't count that high. What a loser. You can't count to three? A little wobbly over here. You could have been somewhere touching boobs right now, and you had to go and make a joke. I was just kidding. You know what I love? I love it when little kids are at the urinal. They pull their pants all the way down to their ankles to take a pee. I love that shit. You walking? Yeah, I'm cool. I'm fine. I'm fine. There's no one Yo, buddy. Gotta go. I'm sleeping, dude. But I can't tell anybody that. Except for you. You have nice legs. I just want to touch them. I just want to lick them. I guess I did eat that hot dog. What is...
cool. Anyone care to participate? Mr. Blank. Beer? Same answer your brother gave in his day. Uh -huh. Pam. Um, just being yourself. Why is it then that so many people in this school just want to fit in? A lot of kids don't like to think for themselves. They just like to follow the herd. It's easier. Knowing what's in style is cool. I don't like girls that are out of date or pale. It's unappealing. Oh, so, uh, cool isn't timeless. That's a phony cool. What do you think is cool, Miss Lucille? Um, Annie DeFranco. She's a singer. She's just really cool. You'll have to let me borrow some of her music. Anytime. All I'll ask of you tonight, class, is look around you, observe things, and decide whether or not someone is trying to sell you cool. Eat this, drink this, wear this, and you'll be cool. Ask yourself, am I the one really deciding what I'll spend my money on, or have I been seduced by the power of cool? Have a nice day, Willie. You too, Cap. Hey, I'd like to hear some of that music. Cool. You should come over sometime. Sure. That'd be nice. Hi, I'm running for student government, and I'd like your support. Are you trying to seduce me with your power of cool? No. I'm seducing you with my compassionate integrity. Oh. OK. Pathetic. Pathetic. It's a miracle you can even write your name, Mr. Germain. Very disappointing. I offer you kids extra tutoring after school, but does anybody bother to show? Well, Mr. Brubaker, by this latest effort, you can hardly afford to be tardy. Sorry, ma'am. I was on the lavatory. I bet that's on your time, not mine. Sorry. You disgust me. Every year there's someone like you, someone who shows no regard for anyone other than themselves. Get out of here. Get out of my face! Maybe you'll learn that there are other people who share this classroom with you who believe that their education is valuable. I do, man. She loves math. And you hate it. It'll never work out between you two. I got her address. You did? My brother said he had it. Well, he had it. Want to scope it out? There it is. She lives there all alone? She keeps her dead mother upstairs, dude. Is it on? It's on. She's in there. How are you gonna get in? Through the front door. 6.59. PM. Just what I thought. 
getting ready to watch the math whiz. She'll be locked there for a half an hour. You got one? I think so. You gotta take a picture of it. That is nasty. It's memory, dude. It's a reminder for Lionel. He'll always remember how confused she was. Bingo. That equals minus four. Plus 240 minus times minus equals plus. When you multiply and take the square root, Zen. Billy from Claremont. Billy, go ahead with your question. How's that doing? She's gone. That scream didn't sound good. My name is Dorothy Hutz, and I, I have an intruder in my house. Please help me.
got the picture. Well, it looks like uh, he's gone, ma'am. Did you get a good look at him? No. Not really. Think she'll show? Lionel. Lionel? Well, sorry I'm late, class. I'm not setting a very good example, I know. Now, can we please take out last night's homework and we'll get started? Take me riding in the car, car, take me riding in the car, car. Take you riding in my car, car, I'll take you riding in my car. Click clank, open up a door, girls. Click clank, open up a door, boys. Front door, back door, click a dick clack, take you riding in my car. Hey man, wanna go shoot some air balls over at Eddie's? Pam's driving. No, I think I'm gonna work on some homework. Cool. Cool. There's just so much to choose from. I don't know where to start. Whatever you think is good. <laughs> In this one song, she says they criminalize the symptoms while they spread the disease. Yeah, they're always doing crazy stuff like that. Yeah. I think I'll play you this one first. It's the first one I ever heard. It's called Little Plastic Castle. That's the name of the album, too. Cool. Sounds really cool. She's such a good guitar player. In a coffee shop. She doesn't sound like anybody else. Would it makes me want to get really good at something, shop. you know? Yeah, you should try guitar. <laughs> yeah, right. I could never play. This is awesome. Did you bring anything into cap yet? No, I'm still making him a mix. Cool. She just has so many good things to say that I think he'd like. She has so much courage. She sings and it's just, I don't know, you have to hear her say it. I can't say it as good. 
but they don't seem much to mind. So awesome. From the shape of your shaved head, I recognized your silhouette as you walked out of the sun and sat down. And the sight of your sleepy smile eclipsed all the other people as they paused to sneer at the two girls. Johnny, you gotta come, John. It's a tradition. I don't know, Larry. All right. You just tell the little woman you got a pull an all nighter. Faculty cleaning. Whole staff has a slumber party. It's been a while since I had a night like that. All the more reason to be there. Oh, it's a blast. Come on. You're dying for a night like this, aren't you? So you gotta see some of the lushes we got working around here. Coach Howard, this can kind of ugly. Be right with you, Tiger. Be with me. Cap? Miss Lucille. I made this for you. It's all I need to Franco. Thank you. I just thought you said you'd like to hear it. I do. I do. Well, I really hope you like it. Make sure you pay attention to number four. She says, the muddy multinationals have monopolized oxygen, so it's as easy as breathing for us all to participate. Yes, we can't help but participate in their tyranny. <laughs> Well, we're gonna change that, aren't we? Yes, we are. Miss Hotz? What is it? Are you still giving extra tutoring after school? I'd like some. Have a seat, Mr. Boo Baker. Arnold. Sick. You. Wait. You're fucking crazy, dude. Yeah, it was stupid. Psst. You're fucking crazy! School sucks. It's so boring. Yeah, I know. It's so boring, Mom. Eat your dinner, Jeremy. Oh, honey, this Friday the uh, school is having an overnight cleaning party, I guess. It's a tradition where the whole faculty gets together and then they clean the school. All night? We're supposed to get a blizzard this weekend. I heard it's a beer bash. Don't worry, it's fine. Not gonna happen again. Do you know how much money that ended up costing us? $3,000. You hear that, Jeremy? You ever get caught doing something like that, it'll cost you a year of community college. Don't worry. I learned my lesson.
So pace yourselves. You all have your maps of this year's course. Par is 74 again. Remember when you're finished. Sign your scorecards. Uh, you know what? I should just go ahead and give this a tug right now. <laughs> hey, Johnny, I'm so glad you can make it. We got you paired up with Miss Beasley tugging me. What's going on? We're golfing. Listen, don't worry about trying to win this thing, all right? Because uh, tuggers are lock. Starting on the back night of the gym. You ready? Okay. Starting off easy. Par three. All we need to do is one shot. You can do two for a birdie and so on, but uh, you should probably pace yourself. Red are for the ladies, a little less potent. Larry, I really shouldn't be doing this. Come on, John, it's jello. Ladies first. Oh, right down the middle of the fairway. Number 12. Here we have a 573 yard dog leg left with a pond. Far five. As usual, tugs honors. Oh! Let's see if McKee can keep up his respectable, even par pace. Whoa! Whoa! McKee throwing his pace right out the window! That was 18. Now well, we started on the back nine. How do you do it, Cap? I mean, how do how do how how do you keep them from getting to you? They're sophomores. It's the year they all grow up, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> oh, they have so many new experiences and new, new truths revealed to them, Dorothy. Their heads are spinning, trying to figure out which way to go. Remain a child, become an adult. <laughs> I'm not too sure which way to go either. You know, this is about the only crazy thing that I do in my life. You don't know what I'd give to have them look at me the way that they look at you. <laughs> yeah, history gives me so many ways to break the rules. Mathematics isn't so easy for that. <sighs> Hate these tests. Hate teaching for these tests. Well, there's no way to get them to see the magic. I know. I know. Mm. Um, I should feel young. We reached the final
Well done. Well done. Hi, officer. No, I haven't had uh, anything to drink. Hi, officer. I don't drink anymore. I used to. Woo! I used to. I just had a couple of beers. In a shot. Tonight's night we're having, officer. Looks like a couple of flurries. having the time of his life over there. Start the car, turn the heat up. There's a happy feeling nothing in the world can buy. When they pass what happened? The turn the heat up, the heat. Shut the door, shut the door. Hey, get out. Hey, Dad. I won that golf tournament. How you doing? Good. You're parked on the front lawn. I know. Love you, son. I love you too, Dad. Careful, careful. I'm going to park the car in the driveway. Sure. Sweet. Just 
just uh, put her in reverse and uh, back her up slowly. Easy, easy, not too much gas, just enough to get her going. Okay. How are things going with Lucille? Really good. She's really cool, Dad. You don't mind having me at school there with you, do you? No. It's kind of nice. It's nice getting to see my boy growing up. It's too much over the years. It's nice having you around. We probably shouldn't tell your mother about that. Not just yet, anyway. Okay, Dad. Yeah, there's my pants. What's for breakfast? Mom, Dad's home. It's about time. Oh, it looks great, huh? Boy, should be spotless after a whole night of cleaning. What happened to your face? I threw up in the car and fell asleep, and it froze and stuck me right to the window. Oh, John, that's gross. It's good to see you finally learned your lesson. I hope it wasn't too hard to resist your new friends at the school. You know me, hon. I'm a rock. Yeah, you're a rock, all right. Don we now our gay apparel. La 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 la. Through the ancient fields I carol. La 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 la. I like rice. I bet you like rice, too. Ah, that is nasty. That's still kind of funny. Are you gonna give it to Lina? Nah. He doesn't need it anymore. One plus two is? Three. Twelve minus three is? Nine. They all lead back to nine. Uh, try fifty. Five and zero is five. Fifty minus five is forty-five. Four and five is nine. That's so strange. It works with every number. But what does that mean? What does that mean? exactly what I want to teach them the most. Thanks, Miss Hutz. I always hated math until you. Fifty-five! Fifty-six! Fifty-seven! Fifty-eight! Fifty-eight? See you guys on Monday. You got your uncle's ID? Nine. Shut up, dude. Did they even proof you? Not every time. I'm gonna be 21 in six months and making the 15-year-old kid get the beer. School baby face. I'll come in once we stop at the ATM. Cool. I'm gonna pick up Willie and then we'll all meet back here. You sure you're cool with your mom's car? Oh yeah, she's working till six. We should get going though. Puffy's in the car. Puffy? My dog. He was only at home, so I thought we'd take him with us. Puffy's crazy, man. He humps more legs than you, Blank. Let's get going. Easy there, cowboy. I want a drink! You know, a dog taking a poop is the funniest thing to me. <laughs> that is funny. Yo. Let's put the keg back here. I don't want my mom to smell it. Hopefully she'll take care of that. Hey, Buffy. 
Mmm, puffy got warms. Here comes another one! Look at that guy. You probably hit him with a snowball. You're fucking dead! So Willie told me to pick him up at his aunt's house. But you're saying it's not really his aunt's house? He doesn't want anyone to know, but him and his family moved to Claremont. So he had to start faking his address so he could keep going to school with us. I'm gonna mess with you. Excuse me, can you help me with this? Sure. I'm gonna need some plastic cups too. The red ones, preferably. 6230. Would you like to see some ID? That's okay, sir. I'm not Eddie. I'm Uncle Jose. Oh, sorry. I thought you were someone else. That's okay. We're going to be at Blank's house. Right here. Hold on a second. There you go. His parents are dentists, right? Yep. <laughs> Willie's little seat. Sorry, it's totally icy. That's okay. Take your time. Oh, Puffy, are you okay? Puffy, you locked the doors. Puffy locked the doors. Can you climb in and lock them? I don't think so. Do you want me to call the auto club? I can't believe this. I'm so sorry. That's okay. You're the best, Eddie. From your side, I'll never part. Every trail leads to your heart. It's 
the car in drive. Me too. You know, our mom can talk to your aunt. You can probably live with us if you want. Thanks, Blink. Anytime, Willie. Okay. Here's my situation. Say, Pammy, what should he meet you? Oh, my God, someone's coming! Um, yes. She has a red jacket and she'll be ducking behind some bushes. Oh, look, Gilbert, there's a puppy in there. Hey, little fella. It looks like he drove this car into the bushes. Are you scared? Did you lose control of your automobile? I guess we should go call the police. How's it going? <laughs> driving my parents' car when I was 14, too. I'm 15. Unless my mom finds out about this. I hear you. Be careful. Hey, buddy. How's it going back there? Pretty good. Thanks. Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, thank you so much! Oh, oh, thank you! Want me to push you out? You're awesome. Come on, Buffy!
Drew Baker play a tennis? It is a sight to behold. Check out that dude. It's so funny how dudes can walk around without their shirts on. Look at this guy. Bare chested. It's funny. There's places where girls can do that too. Where? There's some places, dude. You'll be surprised. Why can't it be like that around here? Yeah. Shit, you know? I know. We gotta go in. Getting too hot out here for you boys? Said we'd meet Lenny in the library. Out here looking at his sister, huh? See ya. Yeah. 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 Man, we're running out of time. She's gonna graduate soon. I'm not talking about that again. We still have the summer. It's gotta happen before school. I can feel it. I'd like to take this one out, Miss Clubby. Oh, A Wrinkle in Time. This is a great book. It hasn't been signed out in years. Oh, you forgot to sign the card. Oh, sorry. Oh, my God. Look, Honey Blue Baker was the last person to take this book out. So? That's the sign. It's gonna happen. Miss Clubby, do you know what the weather's supposed to be like this weekend? Oh, they say very warm. Thanks. That's stupid. You're stupid. It's this Saturday. I feel it. Hey, uh, Manny. <clears throat> what you doing this weekend? Just probably playing board games with my family. You want to sleep over? These two are. Sure, that'd be cool. Cool. Saturday? Sure. Um, maybe we should sleep at your house instead, Lenny. It's a lot more fun than Bob's. No offense, Bob. No, no, that's cool with me. Well, I have to ask my parents, but it should be fine. Cool. I have that one. Me too. Okay, it looks like Bob is the big winner. He's always so lucky. Oh, honey's home already. Hey, everybody. Hi, honey. Uh, hi, honey. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was okay. Care to join us? Mm, I think I'm gonna go to bed. Have fun, though. Good night. Good night. Good night. What's next? Oh, I'm kind of tired myself. Oh, yeah, me too. I think I'm going to hay. Me too. What are you guys talking about? Just think we could all use a little extra rest. It's good for our boat. What the hell are you talking about? Just wait till you're our age, Lenny. You'll know what Bob's talking about. I guess that's it then. You guys are so weird. Don't you guys want to stay up all night? We can sneak out in the streets and run around. I'm really tired, Len. You guys are so gay.
on, guys. Don't you want to go do something? He's talking in his sleep. Mind if I join you? Um, no. Go ahead. How are you? Pretty good. Did you like what you saw? I guess. A little. I always wondered if I slept locked. Sometimes I'd wake up on the wrong end of the bed. You didn't know that you did it? Do you think I'd sleep without a shirt on then? Probably not. It's pretty cool that you made it all the way down here. Yeah, it's so weird. It's cool. Sorry, I stutter around beauty. What were you trying to do, kiss me? I did kiss you. Couldn't help it. You look so good. It's okay, Bobby. You're really nice, honey. 
I didn't tell any. I don't think you'd ever let us sleep over them. You know, Bob, you're really cute. I'm sure you thought about girls in a funny way. Probably thinking some are sexy and that's fine. But people are so much more than that too. Even you guys deserve to be treated as whole people. I know sometimes it's hard and you start feeling horny, but I hope you can remember that other people's feelings are really, really important, okay? Sure. I'm reading A Wrinkle in Time. I love that book. Yeah, it's really good. Time for bed, huh? Yeah, I think I'm gonna stay down here for a while. Okay. It was nice talking to you, Bob. You too, honey. Thanks. See you guys. Try not to be such a lame next time. See you later. See you guys. See you later. What happened? Where'd you go? Stayed in the basement for a while. I can't believe she didn't wake up her parents and have your balls chopped off. She came back downstairs. Yeah, right. She did? No way. What'd she say? Some cool stuff. She's really nice. Her tits were so nice. Don't say that. What do you mean? Just don't say that. She's a person, you know? You gotta respect people. Sorry. That's okay. She did look really good. Yeah, she did. Middle class, this is it. I always hated the last day of school. Oh boy. We're gonna miss you, Cap. By the end of the day, you'll no longer be sophomores. How does that feel? I'm sure you've been through quite a lot this year. You've had some crazy adventures out there. I hope it's been as entertaining in here. Um, Cap, I just wanted to say thank you for teaching us to question things. I feel a lot smarter now. <laughs> now I'm never just gonna follow what someone else says, no matter how much pressure there is from the man. Thank you, Jeremy. And thank you for the music. Miss Lucille introduced me to a little folk singer. I am forever grateful. Oh, the serpentine. Now, she's a patriot, fighting the good fight. Now, class, what are we gonna do with ourselves? How are we going to fight the good fight? Each of us has something to do. Time to make a little history of our own. Let's learn the lessons of our past and let's make things better. We're living here now. This is our adventure. So, I ask you, class, what's your idea? How would you like to benefit mankind? What would you like to change? Sam. You know what I want to change? I want to make it so girls can walk around with their shirts off. <laughs> really, I'm serious. Guys can do it wherever they want. There shouldn't be a law that forbids girls from doing it. Girls are beautiful. Don't sit around and think things are going to happen on their own. They're not. You have to take charge. Figure out how you'd like things to be, and then go forward. See, you all have a vision of how the world could be, and you need to set your sights high. Who cares if history tells us it can't be done? Maybe it hasn't been done yet because history's been looking for you. Everything starts with an idea. We have to take action. Right, Jeremy, action. Lucille, how are you gonna implement your vision? I was just thinking I'd start a newsletter with good lyrics, and I was thinking I might try to learn guitar myself and share a little. Perfect. See, there's no standard way to achieve something because there's no standard person. Sam, how do you plan on achieving your goal? 
I was thinking I might just stand on the roof of the school, raise my arms, and it'll happen. Brilliant. We're all here at this time, living our lives, <laughs> trying to figure out where to go with them. As our dear Miss Helen Keller said, life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. It is awe-inspiring for me to be sharing this life with you. And the more you inspire me, the more I want to pass it on. I hope I've passed some of that on to you this year. So when you go out there into that world, you make it better out there. Stay with Huts. Lino becomes a freaking math whiz. Maybe you can get in that show. This is freaking weird. Mr. Blank, ready to graduate? Weird. What are you gonna do with yourself? I don't know. Live with Willie. What? Thomas Jatham. You're a good kid. Don't you ever forget it. After today, you're a sophomore. Where did you get that? Hey, Jeremy, I heard your dad's not going to be here next year. No, he's going back to the brokerage house. I guess this year was enough for him. He says he's gonna cut back his hours, though. He's not gonna slave for the man anymore. I think I'm gonna try out for the baseball team next year. Need some time to cheer on this boy. Well, there's your boy. Yep, there's my boy. X equals 2X times 4 minus 14. Well, that's it. Hope everyone has a good summer. You too, Miss Hutz. Hopefully you feel prepared for the final. I'd be happy to answer any last question. Swan. I said I was sorry for... I know. You said it. Okay. I'm nervous about the test. We'll be fine. Okay. Have a good summer. You know, if I didn't catch you, and I found that in my toilet, I would have been so confused. It wouldn't have been quite the shock, but it would have been really confusing for a very long time. I guess things kind of work out then. Yeah, I guess they do. Just like math, when you do it right. Have a good summer. You too. You're a great teacher. Sam. What 
you doing tonight? I don't know. You want to do something? Sure. Hey, Lionel. I know, Sam. Hey, Pammy, want to take a victory lap in your mom's car later to celebrate? Um, I think I'm retired. No. She spent her nine lives, dude. We all got to learn our lessons sometime, right? I got the key. No way! Yeah, my dad's quitting anyway. <laughs> What's going on? Your sister. Hey, I want you guys in on this.
Let's lie. Let's lie. Let's lie.